YouTube. Uh, this video is going to be slightly longer than normal because I'm going to be answering four questions and uh, the one that's actually going to take the longest is this one customizing drawing styles and uh, uh, and uh, uh, creating templates and whatnot now first of all I'm going to answer this one I'm guessing he's asking you can read the comment but I'm guessing he's asking he wants his drawing to be imperial oh, sorry metric and also the shop drawings to come out in metric now uh, I'm gonna show you how to do that actually I'll do it now first of all when you want a drawing in metric which is meters or millimeters or whatever you wanna go new and when you start your drawing for the first time you want to use the millimeter template that's important or you can use that one for met for imperial so open that now this everything here now is in metric now hang around because when when I'll, I'll create a drawing in a little bit and I'll show you how to have the template come out in uh, metric and then uh, to answer this question I'll answer this question as I go just listen out for it and then okay I'll read the question first of all can you answer me the next question please in quick documents in many drawing styles I don't have main parts why okay I'll show you that now and for this last one here I have seen oh let me say the question first question is why is it like when you snap on points to create a beam it does not uh, appear exactly where you snap the points now I've seen that before but it didn't bother me so I cause my usual way of drawing uh, beams is I draw lines and then I use the beam from line so it's easier to draw line drawing and draw line drawing of like so much stuff then use the beam from line to convert and convert that from line to beam and that's the technique I use most of the time and right now I do not have that problem of uh, snapping a point and the beam shows up in a totally different place I know that problem exists I'm just not having it now so I cannot troubleshoot it right now and I don't know how to create that problem for me to troubleshoot it but I thought I always when it happened I, I thought it was a glitch I'm not sure if I did fix it or it just stopped I'm not sure but what I'd recommend is first of all download all the updates and up, make sure your advanced use up to date because I'm 80% sure it's a glitch but I could be wrong I may have corrected the problem and if, if I did it's probably somewhere in the settings but I don't have it readily available here so update and see how that goes and if the problem persists let me know and if I come across the problem I will troubleshoot it but I know exactly what you're talking about now uh, next I'm going to draw a simple column here uh, sorry so 4000 which means it's 4 meters okay and I'm going to now this is a single part okay this is a single part and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a base plate to that and what that does it now this now becomes an assembly it's no longer a single part it's an assembly because it's got a base plate attached to it. Uh, now, when you go to your drawing style, I can understand that if you have single part here, your natural instinct is there's supposed to be a main part somewhere here. But realistically, 
you don't need the main part because you use the assembly because this is now an assembly so you use the assembly to draw that and I will do that right now by first of all uh, rotating my UCS uh, where, is, where is that here first of all by rotating my UCS and then uh, I'm gonna go to drawing styles and uh, like I said that single part for individual parts and if you're not drawing individual parts you're obviously drawing an assembly so which would be that one and uh, you can use a, a lot of these but if you just want that one you can use assembly at UCS which I like for you know small simple drawings uh, select my Oh no, 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 hang on. I did not number it. My mistake. I did not number the drawing. You always have to number a drawing. And if you don't, you will be reminded like I was just there. So you hit the numbering. And uh, make sure you process the assemblies too. Apply. And uh, hit OK. So I'll just move over, move those over to the side. Open my assembly at UCS. Click OK and select my my uh, column now this is back to tongues question you want this I'll just name that first you want this to be in metric so if you scroll down on the templates there's the metric templates right at the bottom the ones which are preceded by millimeter those are metric and these ones here are imperial now your template the template you want to use is metric to come out with millimeters and you click ok the drawing is created and then show assembly and voila you have your drawing with millimeters for uh, for units and uh, I hope that explains uh, the reason why we only need single part here like main part you can for the main part you can use assemblies or uh, you know other drawing styles in there and uh, I think I may have covered uh, Tsung, Tomislav and Giovanna uh, now I'm going to cover uh, this fella here Frank Procapio actually you know what I am going to sign off and post this video and create another one especially for Frank because that one is going to take a little bit longer YouTube